Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss chapter number 17 of second year physics that is electronics. So the top, first topic is intrinsic semiconductor. So intrinsic semiconductor is the type of semiconductor which is no impurity. No impurity means it is pure. So pure semiconductor is called intrinsic semiconductor or con semiconductor without impurity which contain no impure substance. So when will be a semiconductor is called intrinsic if it contains one impurity one impurity in one billion atoms one billion what atom one billion host atoms if this is semiconductor and it contains one billion atoms so if there is one impurity impurity means atom other than semiconductor atom so if there is one impurity we can call it as intrinsic semiconductor only if that case if the host atoms or semiconductor atoms are 1 billion that is equal to 10 to 4 9 this is very large number so it is not possible normally not possible that the number of impurity are much more than 1 so actually we have very little less semi intrinsic semiconductor now to study the structure of semiconductor semiconductor have three bands how much band three, three bands the last the, this one is valence band in which valence electrons are present valence electron in this one is conduction band in which when electron is present move and conduct electricity or heat now the difference between these two bands is called inner band gap and the energy is called eg or band gap energy band gap band gap energy what is the band gap energy band gap energy is the minimum energy e minimum that requires to move electron from valence band to conduction, conduction band if we have band gain energy and so an electron will absorb that energy and will move from valence bond to conduction bond and will start conduction but at zero kelvin when the temperature is zero kelvin this is zero and this is k or i will write it as zero kelvin at zero kelvin no electron move from valence band to conduction band so semiconductor it is insulator insulator done so this is the main point at and semiconductor that semiconductor is zero kelvin or insulator now with increase in temperature if we say increase increase i need your attention this is very important that if we increase the temperature these electron will absorb energy from the temperature and will start moving from this band to another band so if increase the temperature is increased resistance of semiconductor will be decreases and electron will electron will start motion so th with the increase in temperature the resistance of semiconductor decrease, decrease. so if t increases r decreases per only in case of semiconductor now this is another term called extrinsic semiconductor Generally, the group 4 period of period table is carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead. The silicon and germanium are semi, main semiconductor are silicon and germanium. Semi conductor. As they are in poor group, so their valence electron, so their valence shield have 4 electrons now if this is atom of fourth shield so it have how much electron 
फोर इलेक्ट्रॉन वन और वन टू थ्री एंड फोर एफ दियर इज एनदर एटम दिस इज सिलिकॉन और जर्मीनियम सो बेसिकली हाउ डज इन नेचर फूड ग्रुप एलिमेंट्स आर प्रेजेंट दिज दीज आर प्रेजेंट इन कोल एंड बॉन्ड स्ट्रक्चर लाइक दे पम्प कोल एंड गॉन्ड विद ईच अदर सो अगेन दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर शेयर विद ईच अदर सो वी कैन ड्रा द स्ट्रक्चर इज दिस इज द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ ईच एटम सो बिटवीन दीज एटम दिस वन वन टू थ्री फोर I would like to draw another atom to come show you the full electron. So this atom has four electron: one, two, three, four. This one is also four electrons. It is one, two, three, and four. The same is this atom has also four electron: one, two, three, four, and so on. In this way, silicon atoms are. Coolantly bonded with each other. Now this is the structure of intrinsic semiconductor, which is insulator. Now to make it useful or to make a conductor, with, we do a process called doping. We add impurity to it. So this is insulator. Now we want is it is. conductor now for conductors of electron electrons are needed so we will put electrons into this and we do a little trick to it how will you do it this is fourth group atom we will replace one atom by fifth group atoms if this is the fifth group element suppose we replace it by nitrogen then what will happen if we replace this atom by fifth group atom then it will fix like it but it will have one extra electron done no then it will have extra electron and we call it this process we call it doping and the element we eat it is called dopant in this case f is nitrogen the, the atom added is called dopant and this process is called dopant by dopant process we convert intrinsic semiconductor to extrinsic Ex intrinsic to ex extrinsic or pure semiconductor to impure so that it contain it carry electricity and we can use that so how we we can also use another trick another trick how is this if this is atom of fourth group this is atom of fourth group and if we replace it by atom of period 3 if we replace it by period up period 3 so all these atom is four electrons 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 and so on but if we replace the metal one with third group element so third group element have three electron so it will have one electron two electron and three electron now there will be electron from near atom this atom this atom and this atom so we can see that there is vacancy of one electron because we have added atom of period 3 to replace period 4 and co period 3 of one electron less than period 4 so a hole is created now to fill this hole electron will come from here now a new hole will be created so this electron will start moving to move to this so as hole moves it means the electron are moving electron moves hole is moving so this is also responsible for current current motion this is called doping and the we add the substance is called dopant now we can add group 5 element and group 3 element to group 4 so there are two types of semiconductors one is called p type and one is called n type n mean negative p mean positive positive mean the positive is in majority generally we say the pakistan is muslim country why it is muslim country because major people are muslims, muslims. now p type is called positive because the majority is of 
पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड इन ए टाइप इज कॉल्ड निगेटिव बिकॉज द मेजोरिटी एफ इज निगेटिव नाउ निगेटिव इज वॉट इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी इट मीन इट एफ वी हैव ओरिजिनल फोर ग्रुप एलिमेंट सिलिकॉन आर जर्मीनियम एफ वी एड पेप ग्रुप एलिमेंट टू दिस पेप ग्रुप एव वन लार्ज इलेक्ट्रॉन सो इट विल हैव वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एन एक्सिस वन एंड वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एक एक्सिस सो टू रिप्लेस फोर्थ इलेक्ट्रॉन फोर्थ एटम एंड बाय फिफ्थ वन वी हैव एक्स्ट्रा इलेक्ट्रॉन नाउ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी डन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी सो वी कैन आल्सो से दैट इन माइनॉरिटी व्हाट आर एन माइनॉरिटी होल्स आर एन माइनॉरिटी वन इज एक्स इज डबल एज लेस सो हियर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी दैट इज निगेटिव चार्ज सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एन टाइप इफ वी रिप्लेस द फोर्थ एटम बाय पीरियड थ्री सो देन वट हैपन थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल फुल फील इट्स प्लेस वाइल द फोर विल लिफ्ट इज एम टी सो होल विल बी क्रिएटेड एंड हेंस वी से दैट होल्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी एंड होल्स आर एन मेजॉरिटी होल्स इज पॉजिटिव चार्ज सो वी कॉल इट एट पी टाइप इन दिस केस निगेटिव और इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आर एन माइनॉरिटी so the possible mcqs that came in eta r that p type have majority of what positive charge n type have majority of what negative charge the p type have minority of what holes r the p type have majority positive in electron n minority n type have majority of electrons in minority of what majority of electron minority of holes the next and sequels that came in eta is that p type can be added to replace group 4 element by period 3 because there one electron less than that and this for n type n type can form by adding dopant of third group fourth group fifth group so adding fifth group so this was the possible sequels for n and p type now the next is p n junction if we if we combine p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor we call it pn pn junction now if we join the p semiconductor to n semiconductor we call it pn junction this can be also drawn as this this is the pn this is for p and this is for n now if we see that in in there are p type have holes p type have positive charge that have majority in holes we can see that p type have holes but on the opposite side we can say see that n junction have electrons so here are holes and there are electrons so electrons will come electrons will come and fill the vacancies in p regions it will come and form p region so this electron will come here and this will fill this region so here negative charge will made what will happen if this is p n junction this was p this was n actually at the start this was like this this was p and this was n but electrons come from this portion to this and form negative ions done now if electron moves from here to this and the other side here we will form positive ions is electron had moved from this to this so here positive will charge form and then here here we will get negative ion so what what we say now an electric field will be created the electric field this ion create an electric field directly from n to p is electric field is pass positive to negative so in this case the electric field is from positive to negative or we can say that it is from n to p what electric field is from n to p now if dip dip this depletion region occur now 
more electron was to wants to come from n and fill the vacancy in p but on the way these negative charge ion repel the electron so you show it's the further diffusion of electrons and holes maintain the separation of charge so this region is palm or the junction region is palm and it is free of mobile charges and we call it this is depletion layer remember it name this is called depletion layer another name it is called is depletion region depletion region now this wall is different depends on the motion of charges the next is we connect the pn junction to the battery so there are two possibilities we connect the p type to the positive of the battery and n with the negative of the battery or p with the negative and n of the positive so what will happen this are two types of now if this is pn junction this is pn junction same p p p matlab p with the positive and n matlab yeah. negative just remember p p are same so same if we connect this with the battery so an electric field is set up from n to p and now in this case now in this case if the battery is connected the majority charge starts moving the majority what happen the majority starts moving we can say that n negative is the motion of electron the motion of current is from positive to negative, negative. but the motion of electron is from negative to positive, positive. battery negative mean it has majority of electrons here n is majority of electrons so due to the battery electron starts motion done no. now if we connect it to the battery at one point called the new voltage majority charges carries across the junction n have electrons it will start the motion and current flows so this is called forward bias and the current is called forward current so the current flows from p to n and pn junction this is pn junction this this is pn junction when we connect with it is positive and with the negative obliquely the current flows and the current is called this is called forward bias and the current is called forward forward current now on the other hand on the other hand if this is pn junction in which we connect with negative and this with the positive then what will happen so in the reverse this is connected as reverse so no current flows actually but if we increase the current if we increase the current if we connect p with the negative and negative with the positive it is called then it is called reverse bias in the current will be called reverse current reverse i or reverse current it is due to minority particle at only p of if this this is pn junction if we connect it to negative and this is the positive so we can say the electron is moving from negative to positive in the current direction is from positive to hmm. negative so electrons here and electrons and there is majority of electrons here so electrons can't move easily from p to right. n but still only p electrons will move in this direction and this current will be called reverse current and this is called reverse bias the current is only few picometer so this is very less now this is vi characteristic of pn junction the next is vi not six characteristic this is vi characteristic of pn junction that what happen this shows us the new voltage new voltage is what voltage at the point called new voltage majority charges carries across the junction here p is in the majority so connecting in this so majority charges starts motion 
and due to majority charge the current is produced as in, in forward bias so this is value the value is 0.3 per germanium important per eta germanium is 0.7 per silicon 7c this is near equals we can remember it 7c 0.7 is per silicon and 0.3 is per germanium this is this just a tool duty if we increase the voltage what happen if we increase the voltage done if we increase the voltage coolant bonds break in pn junction when coolant bond breaks what is coolant bond coolant bond is between the silicon atoms with each other so if this bond breaks so electrons and holes are created in the number of elect electrons is called the number of holes created this is called ni ya yeah, intrinsic density so the number of electrons is equal to the number of holes is the at new voltage the current bonds break and electrons are produced when electron is produced electron start motion and sudden increase in current will occur so this uh, sudden increase is called zener effect now if reverse bias is increased further now in this case if reverse bias is increased further minority charges gear is attain high velocity and knock down in this case in reverse bias ele electrons the motion is due to minority particles if here electrons are in minority and here holes are in minority in this case so in reverse bias the motion reverse current is due to minority particle so if, if we increase the current in reverse bias the electrons will get much much energy it will attain high velocity and knock down the bound electrons from coolant bond and current will increase in this is called avalanche effect and this is called avalanche effect what is avalanche effect if we increase the current electron will get high velocity it will break the coolant bond and minority what minority electrons are hold will move and current will produce and this is called avalanche effect and we can create zener diode these are these are special diode which works on this zener and avalanche effect now the next is drift or minority carrier now this is simple that electron current is produced by both electrons and hole so the total current produced is or uh, this is called drift current this is equal to i due to electron plus i due to holes how are the minority carriers produced these are produced by breaking up covalent bond the next topic is rectification what is rectification the conversion of ac into dc is called rectification this is rectification is a process by which we convert ac into dc so the conversion of ac into dc is called rectification it is for eta it is repeated so many times the equipment or the process or the or the device that is used for rectification is called rectifier now we have studied that pn junction electron moves the current moves in this direction not in this direction so pn junction lo one flow conductor that is the basis for rectification how you know we will solve it now we know that there are two types of rectifier half wave sir what is it badalga and the second is full wave ac we know that in ac the magnitude and direction changes at equal interval of time but for dc the magnitude as well as direction is constant the magnitude as well as direction is constant constant so there are two types of rectifier the first wave half wave in which the half wave is rectified and the other half wave is ignored or hidden so this is called half wave rectifier in full wave rectifier the first half is rectified 
while the second negative half is also rectified. So, there is some other devices which use and at last the flow is like this with usage and this is called full wave rectifier. Now, this is the AC and this is DC. This is used by half wave rectifier and this is by full wave rectifier. Now, how half wave rectifier works? So, if we have AC current, we know that AC passes through AC circuit. If this is AC current, done, this is AC voltage. voltage. So, if you wanted to pass to it the resistance R and you want to rectify it, we need DC. So, simply we will add PN junction to this. We will add PN junction to this. Now, in first case, if this is AC, now AC is like this, this is AC. Done? Done? The AC moves in this way. So, when it reaches to the PN junction, when it reaches to what? PN junction. PN junction. Now, the PN junction, the positive and negative means this positive AC cycle means that in one cycle, the whole circuit, the AC moves in this direction, while in another cycle, it moves in opposite direction. Its frequency is 50 in Pakistan. It means that in one second, 50 times its cycle changes. So, in first cycle, what is when current is moving in this direction. So, what happened? The PN junction act is in forward bias. So, current passes through it and it the current will reach to resistance. So, for first cycle, the current will passes and it will reach to the resistance. Now, this was first cycle. Now, for second cycle, when electron is moving, when the current direction is in this direction. So, the current will reach and passes through R, but when it reaches to the N junction of PN, so it is reverse bias. No current flows in the PN junction in this direction, so this will be cut up and no current will be pass. So, this place is allowed and this is not allowed to pass. So, this will be skipped. In the third case, again, it will start motion and this will be act as power bias and current will move. So, the second step will be pass and the negative will be skipped. In this way, positive passes through it and the negative is skipped. And this is called half wave rectifier because half of the wave is rectified from AC to DC. Now, how does full wave? In full wave, the negative is also positive. rectified and we use a little trick for this. Now, we use full wave rectifier. There is many ways by full wave rectification. This is full wave rectifier. If this is AC source, are they use center tape? transformer but this full wave is not used why because center tape transformer is, is very hard to pump okay so how full wave rectifier works so they use center tape transformer for ac source now for to move the ac we need two wires done now what we can also take this connection is like this we can take two wires for this this is possible possible if we take two wires instead of one or simply if we use one wire like this you can add another wire like this also it doesn't matter so enter tape and center tape trans transformer they what they do they use one wire like this and work this and they at a last join it. Then we connect output to it if we call resistor or bulb and anything we want to add. And the second wire it we connect as this one. So this is the whole circuit. This is like that. Instead of one with the center tape they use double kit. Now what they do this is they do a trick. By half wave require they are making full wave. How? 
they use two free injunction eh? one at this and forward and the other end reverse bias done this is reverse bias you can also draw it like this or you can draw another color to it and you can call it this is diode or pin junction now for first cycle now for positive first cycle what happened we can say that the first cycle the direction is like this way or this way which one this one first we select this way in first way which in number first if electrons direction is in this way first electron move in this way then again because this is ac yes. done if the electron is moving in this direction in both wire this is one wire taking from two uh, sides so in both cases the electrons are coming in this direction the current is coming in this direction so we can see that this is forward bias this is forward bias so electrons will come from and passes from it so if in this way and while the other hand if electrons are coming in this way so this is reverse bias so no current will be passed and this will be no current from pass in this way so the current will start from first diode and it will move in this way and current will move and as a result of this the first palm is rectified now what if the cycle is reverse i am using blue pin for that if the cycle is reverse now this will move electron will move in this direction it will move in this direction done no. then it will be divided and it will move in this direction then it will move in this direction and same it will move in this direction so if they come in today's direction this is forward bias so electron will pass up pass from it but in this case this is reverse bias we can see this is reverse bias this is forward and this is from dash to triangle this is reverse bias current flows on in forward bias no flows in reverse bias diode act as unidirectional matlab at allow electron on in one direction so this case no electrons will move from this case so again we will give positive cycle so again this is rectified so how it work again the first wall we will say the one way the half of the wave is rectified by this half of this so we can get the full wave rectified done done now the next is transistor how transistor work transistor is made up pnp junction or npn junction if we three transistor we will call it and if we add three transistor three semiconductor we will call it what transistor it is a main usage it can be used as switch or any other use or we can convert electrical light energy into electrical energy by pn junction so give us brain here and how it works it is made up this is called transistor so transistor is made up three semiconductor three semiconductor it is pnp r n p n we have two types of semiconductor it is made up three so one will be p the other will be n r p n p r n p n we can take the three same like p p p r n n n we can take it as p n p r n p n so in first case if this is p n p p n p or i can also write it as a b c the first portion is called the b the second portion is called c this is power integer test now this is p n p the first portion is called emitter why is called emitter because it emit electron the electron moves from this portion and start moving in forward direction this is called base because it is the base of both and this is called collector because it collect electrons from p n n now the p is highly doped highly doped mean we have had the trivalent r pentavalent atom to this and this one is lightly doped so there are majority of electrons more electrons are added because it is doped and so here are more electrons per 
movement of electron v add less electron to n also so it can't absorb electron so more electrons are at p and p so the p the collector absorb electron from this so is the current moves from p n p now this the p n junction there are much points to remember that the p n junction is remember that the p n junction is forward bias why this n p junction is reverse bias this is the important point for eta this junction is forward bias and this is reverse bias for motion of electron so this is forward bias forward bias mean no electrons can come from this side to this but only can move from p to n and p so the electron start motion from p to n done in the other is reverse bias most of the charges are collected by c so the this is called ic and some electrons are connected are absorbed by base that is called current due to base ib now the total current that is due to e e emits electron that is the current where did the electrons go it is absorbed by base or collector so ie is equal to ib plus i c this was the current this was the transistor, transistor. <coughs> the next is this is pnp the other is npn it is same as pnp but it is npn this is highly doped lightly doped this is collector this is base this is emitter this is base and this is collector again this is forward bias and this is reverse bias done this is the five six two points which is important for it and it is repeated again and again now to draw its diagram the npn and pnp this is written as given this so this is a transistor this shows us p n p r n p n r p n p now the difference is between the difference is between this direction either it is this or this this is emitter this is toward emitter this is base collector this is from emitter towards base and collector this is emitter base collector emitter base collector the difference is between this arrow for p and p and n p n now which one is p and p and which one is n p n always remember that it the arrow is towards n ha their arrow is towards n. from p to yeah. n now we can say that there are this is p and p this is p and p so the arrow is from p to n so it will be from p to n so this is from p to n this is called p n p because it is from a uh, emitter to base so this is called p and p because this if this is n and this is e so we can call it p n p and this is n p n because the arrow is always towards n so this is the trick to remember that the arrow is towards n always now there are configuration this is configuration that how can we connect trans trans transistor so there are we can take base or emitter is common what does that mean that this is transistor pnp junction the middle one is base so if we take the base is is input and output both we connected input into output both so base is common in both input and output so this configuration is called common base our common base mean in which base is common and common emitter is the other case in which we take emitter is common but just remember these two points the other point i will say again here now there are three types of transistor our transistor and common base can be of three characteristic how it is this is transistor look if this is forward bias forward bias mean electron can only loop in, in this direction not in back and this is also forward bias electron can move in this direction not back so more ele all electron will move in 
this direction. So, we will get maximum current and we call this transistor as fully fully on or in this is called saturated mean fully saturated as full saturated solution that is built that can no more slow can no more solve. So, this is called saturated region a saturated region may what what happen in saturated region both a meter base and base collector are forward bias. Now, in normal mode what we do is I told you that a meter base is forward bias and base collector is reverse bias. This is called active region in which transistor use is active and normally we use it in this way. Now, again what will in third case if a meter base is reverse bias and base collector is reverse bias. So, no current flow is forward direction. So, no current will produce and this is called cutoff region. Cutoff region. So, there are three region the saturated in which both are forward bias the active region in which emitter base is forward by but base collector is reverse bias and third case cut up in which both are reverse bias. Now, there is alpha factor. So, what is alpha factor? Alpha factor is just the ratio of I c to I by I e this is I c the ratio of I c to I e is called alpha factor and the I c to I b is called beta factor. Now, we have the one is common base collector and the second is common emitter, emitter collector then in which base is common to input output and this emitter is common to both output and output and both we have input and output characteristic input and output characteristic and there is formula for that and we have to remember it for eta and other entry test. The input per common base is the variation of emitter current I e with respect to change in base to emitter voltage V b e at constant collector to base voltage V c b and the output is variation in collector current I c with change in collector to base divided by V c b at constant collector current R I c. This is the output characteristic of common base. Now, for common emitter the input character input character is the variation base current I b with respect to change in base to emitter voltage V b e at constant at constant collector to emitter voltage V c e and the output and the output is the output characteristic is the variation in I e I c that is collector current with change in collector to emitter change in collector to emitter voltage V c e at constant base. Now, to remind this we have a simple trick formula this is for input it is 1, 1 2 3 and for output this is 3 3 1 per common base. Now, for common emitter we will replace 1 2 3 by 2 2 3 and 3 3 1 by 3 3 2 3 32 2 by 3 31 and 1 23 by 2 23. Now, how what 1 2 3 mean? This is emitter base collector. The 1 is emitter, the 2 is base, and the 3 is collector. Again, in this case, the 1 is emitter, the 2 is base, and the 3 is correct collector. And both remember that all of these. In input only the first one is emitter current the rest one of this voltage only the first one is current and the rest of this is voltage. So, in x of the one stands for current 
and rest is for voltage and 223 the 2 is for current and the rest is for voltage. Now in output the first and the third value this 331 stand for 331 the 332 stand for 332. Now for 331 this is I current this is current and for 332 this is current and this is current. Now, what 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 1 and this stands? So, 1, 1 stands that this is 1. It means that the current of E, which is IE. 1 mean collector of IE. Now, it divide by what? 2. 2 mean B. Now, to select another quantity, mark that point and start arrow toward left. Now, arrow show voltage so this is from b to e or 2 this is from b to e so this is v b e and next is 3 again mark 3 and start arrow so this is from c to b at constant v c b so this is the input characteristic of common base 1 2 3 mean 1 1 2 3 so 1 is i e 2 is base 2 meter VBE at constant 3 is C to B. So, we see B is constant and IE divided by VE is input characteristic. Now, at output is code is 331. So, how, what 331 works? 331 works. So, if this is 331, this is emitter base collector 1, 2, 3. So, the code is 331. The first 3 is mark the 3. So, the first mark 3 is it means that I C. The dot shows I C. The second is 3. So, we know that the first one is current. The second way is with voltage. So, mark it with this. Always draw the arrow palm left to right side. And how to draw? Only draw one point like C to B or B to E. Not we can draw from C to E. So, write from one point. It means the first three was mark, so that was C. The other is three. We will draw the arrow that is from C to B. It means voltage from C to B at constant one. One means current at I E. So at I E. So this was the I C divided by V C B is equal to I C. That was output. Now, for common emitter, we know that the code is. 223 R33 and this is the input, this is the output. So, to apply code, there is little bit change. We will draw whole arrow instead of short. So, 223, the first one is current, baki rest is of voltage. In this case, current and this is current and there is voltage. So, for input, the first one is current, that is 2. So, this is 1, 2, 3, it means this is. 2. So, 2 is I B. The second is 2. Now, draw B and I will draw it from right to left. So, this is B to E and this is voltage. And the next at constant 3. This is C to E. At V C E that is constant. Now, 3, 3, 2 is power output. So, 3, 3, 2 means that this is 3 market. 3. So, this is I C divided by another is 3. So, mark it and draw a line. Full wave for common emitter. So, full wave C from C to E. So, V C E at constant 2 the 2 is V. So, draw another voltage. This is for current. So, this is at constant I B. So, the whole thing says that at the codes for common basis and common emitter. So, this is input, this is output, again input, output. So, the code was 1, 2, 3 and 3, 3, 3, 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3 and 3, 3, 2. In this case, this is 2, 2, 3 and 3, 3, 2. Now, applying 1, 2, 3 again. 
वन टू थ्री सो दिस इज वन मार्क वन टू मीन्स ड्रा लाइन फ्राम राइट टू लेफ्ट थ्री मीन्स ड्रा फ्राम थर्ड टू सेकेंड सो द फर्स्ट वन वॉज करंट इन ऑलवेज द फर्स्ट वन इज करंट डेट इज ई बी सी दिस इज आई ई डिवाइड बाई द सेकेंड वन इज फ्राम बी टू ई सो वी बी ई एट कॉन्स्टेंट वी सी बी फ्राम सी टू बी is the arrow from c to b we will write cb and the arrow shows voltage and the dot shows current so this is input now the output is 3 3 1 first 3 is current another 3 is voltage and the last is current so this is from point at c so it is ic divided by c to b this is arrow so we will call it vcb so koi is cb over input side or outside The input for common base is I E divided by V B E at constant V C B. The ratio of the to the at constant the. Now the output for C is the ratio of I C to V C B. This is enough. But what at constant I C when this is constant. Now the input, the first is current divided by voltage at constant voltage. And the output is always current divided by voltage and ratio of current. All input and output is the ratio of current to voltage, current to voltage, current to voltage, current to voltage, current to voltage. But what is an output? Constant is voltage, and output the constant is current. Difference is this. Now to find the common emitter, the code is two two three. Two two three means emitter base current where this is 1 2 3 so 2 2 3 mean s is 2 now the other is voltage so we will draw arrow from left to right and the other is 3 so from 3 we will draw a line so this is ib divided by vbe and the third one is vc into e in common emitter we will draw whole line not half half applying the 3 3 2 code 1 Two, three are E B C. The first is three, so we will write three. The second is three, so we will write from three to one because the second value is voltage. And the rest is again current, so we will write three to three three two. So this current. So the ratio of I into C divided by V C E at constant B. So this was the ratio of input and output. Now we have studied that alp. this is emitter, that is base, and this is current. Now I C is the total current at C plus A, we add the current at B, so it will be equal to the current of I E because electrons are rejected from E, removed from E, so I E is equal to where electrons go, it is accepted by B and C, so I B plus I C is equal to I E. Done. I B plus I C is equal to R I E is equal to I B plus I C. The next we studied that alpha factor is this is the ratio of I C to I E is called alpha factor, and the ratio of C to B is called beta factor. So A B C the ratio to A and the ratio to B. Alpha factor is I C divided by I E, and beta factor is the ratio of I C to I B. Beta factor is also called current gain. If they ask you in question. to find the current gain so the current gain is equal to ic divided by ib find this ratio and this is the called beta factor so these equation are important for eta they will ask you choose the correct so which equation is correct i a alpha is equal to ic divided by ie which is alpha factor beta factor or current gain is equal to ic divided by i b now to find the relation between alpha and beta so we know that Let beta is equal to I C divided by I B. If we replace this E by B plus C, so we will get I B not possible. But if we replace this I B plus I B by C and E, there may be one possibility. So replace this I B by what? Here I B is equal to I E minus I C. I can write this. Making it on the left side, so putting this and this, we will get that I C is equal to I E minus I 
C. Dividing both sides by I E. So dividing it by I E and this is by I E. We will get I C divided by I E. In the second, I will get is I E divided by I E minus I C divided by I E is equal to where I C divided by I E is alpha vector. And I E cancel I E so one minus I C divided by I E is again alpha vector. So this is alpha vector. So beta is equal to alpha into one minus alpha. This is the relation between beta and alpha. Now to write B N one side can we write it no this is equal as this so this is the relation between alpha and beta that beta is equal to the they can also give us choose the correct beta is equal to alpha plus the or alpha is equal to beta divided by one minus beta so this is correct and this is wrong so beta is equal to alpha divided by one minus alpha Transistor act as an amplify. It amplify the source or increases amplitude. R transistor act as a switch. How it act as a switch? This is transistor switch mean on up. If we connect this to the <coughs> what? In circuit. And if current flows through it, so no current flow at normal, but if current increase. current bond will broken and electron will start moving and current will flow this is used in the security alarm but remember a transistor is used as amplifier it is used as a switch this was the end of the chapter the rest is just a piece of cake photodiode what do photodiode do it convert light energy energy into electrical energy light emitting diode led led bulb which it do what do led do led give us light from here it gets electrical energy from wires so photodiodes are solar photodiodes photodiodes convert electrical energy into what light energy na no. it convert light energy into electrical energy like a this is pnp junction done we connect it to the battery if we charge the battery air we will connect it with the r again this is l e d then if we add it to p n junction this is l e d if we add l e d bulb to what photodiode or solar cell both can be explained in one topic so when the light comes and hit the n junction they make this p and p small and in a huge surface area so surface area contain n so when sunlight come and hit n there is coolant bond in n n is what semiconductor negative semiconductor na n type semiconductor so when energy comes electrons bonds are broken down in electrons n holes are created and they start motion as they start motion current is produced in this way a light energy is converted into the electrical energy so this was the photodiode now what is light emitting diode it is heavily dop pn junction so this is farita what is a led it is heavily dop pn junction so this is the p transistor connected when n that is highly dop and it is converted only in forward direction matlab no current flow in opposite reverse direction now when current pass through it it emits radiation now what the next is on the other side of the junction x is minority carriers are there which recombine in majority carriers near the junction as the result energy is a form of photons now see led is pn junction now current is passed through pn junction and these are heavily dop heavily dop mean that n contain major numbers of electron and p contain heavily number of electron so these holes move towards 
n or n move towards p so this if the n comes towards p it will peels the hole now it will peels the hole and as it peels the hole photons are emitted photons are emitted, emitted. as a result energy is released as this ener energy releases is called light this was what this was light emitting diode it is just heavily up p n junction when electron passes through when the current passes through it the minority charge is move is n these these positive charge and negative charge combine and they fill the place as a result photons is produce photons that is light is produce and a solar junction is a pn junction now the third is solar cell that is also a pn junction which generates what emf it works is same as photo diode simply it is what when electrons fall on pn junction then when electrons fall electrons hole pairs are electron in holes are generated covalent bond breaks and electron holes are this is pn junction while in photodiode this is pn p junction so in solar cell we have pn junction in which one electrons pulse electron pulse on n junction not on p so in n junction when electron pulse electrons as well as holes are generated now these holes and generated are separated electrons swept towards n side and p moves towards p side so electrons will remain on e and this will be moved on p sides now these both electrons are then collected and in in the collection of electron is called current this is called solar cell and all this is just p and p while the light, light emitting diode is p n junction while the solar cell is always p n junction while the first one photo diode was p n p junction and always remember that led is highly doped so this was electronics chapter so the width of potential barrier in pn junction is equal to number first the width of potential pn junction diode decrease in forward bias increase in reverse bias so in forward bias when p is connected with p and n is connected with negative so this is called forward bias in forward bias the width of potential is always decreases now in reverse bias it increases if this is pn junction normal if this is the width of it now if we connect it in forward bias its width will decreases and in reverse bias its width will increase increases so in forward bias it decreases in reverse bias it increases capacitor is used to get smooth output voltage in half wave rectifier and full wave rectifier now how it is used this is not for fsu or but it is for high level now we can say that ac is like this much what do full wave rectifier do this is the result of full wave rectifier this is what it result so we can say that again magnitude changes at this point changes now it's and the last it become Change. zero zero or it may become decrease so again this is increase and decrease this is not a good dc so we use capacitor in this so when it is decreasing or when it discharges so the capacitor is used as a charger our capacitor use capacitor what do capacitor they store charge so as the capacitor store charge so they what do at this time when there is no current the capacitor discharges 
and it gives us current. So this is current given by capacitor, and again it becomes smooth. So capacitor is used for to smooth the output voltage. Done. The next is a certain transistor has collector current of ten milliampere. So full wave rectifier. Full wave rectifier. Dekha na. Is used to get smooth voltage and full wave rectifier. This is full wave rectifier, na. So in full wave rectifier, we use it for smoothness. Bas. Capacitor is just used for smoothness. And next is certain transistor is collector current of I. This is I C. And a base current of this is I B. What is the current gain? Current mean mean I B. I already told you this is beta factor. And beta factor is the ratio of I C divided by I. B. This is the IC and this is the IB. Just solve it. You will get the answer 250. Which one of the following works when it is in forward bias? So LED works only in forward bias. bias. Photovoltaic cell, photodiode, and those two works only in reverse bias. Also LED is highly doped. So only this one act in forward bias. The rest of it is reverse bias. The next is a junction between P and material and P material is called diode. This is P and junction is called diode. Simply, when a pentavalent material is called passport is is it tetravalent? Tetravalent. When we heat pep group element to five, so if we heat the pep group element to four, it has one electron more. So the majority will be of electrons, and majority of electron is negative charge. So this is called n type. In in n type we get five, in p type we get trivalent atom. If an increasing temperature the resistance decreases, then it is semiconductor. For semiconductor, if we increase the temperature, its resistance decreases. This is the special property for transistor. The special design semiconductor diode used as far as contrasts and electric circuits are photodiodes. Don't know what this is. Which one of the following gate is output one if both of input are zero? Option is NAND gate. What is NAND gate? First of all, what is NAND gate? NAND gates multiply it. So if both gate have output of one if both of its input is zero. So zero multiply by zero is equal to zero. NAND gate give us the result zero. And what is NAND gate? NAND gate meet not. N N gate not plus N is equal to N. So what not reverse the result or change alternate the result. So as the result is zero, N gate will make it one. So the result is one. So this is N gate. In which one of the following the phase difference between the input signal and output signal voltage is zero? Don't know what this is. In V N junction after diffusion, a charged pair region is formed. It's called depression region. The what the this is depression region, and which charged pair region is formed. The P N junction diode works as insulated if connected to reverse bias, because in reverse bias no current flow and it is act as an insulator. This is the property of P N junction that it is unidirectional. Computer uses various combination of the following as switches. So transistor is the basis of integral circuit. IC circuit is made up transistor. In common base transistor, the current gain is. 0.8. It means beta is 0.98. And changing the emitter current by 5 milliampere. Emitter current means I E. A change in collector current is what is change in a collector current. So we know that beta factor is I E divided by I C divided by I B. So they have asked for I C. So I C is equal to beta factor multiplied by I B. I B. So beta factor is given and five is also given. A special design semiconductor diode used is pass is counter and electronic circuits are photodiodes. This is point to be learned. 
In common emitter amplifier, the input voltage is applied to the base. This is emitter base color. In common emitter, it means that emitter is common to both input and output. So the current is applied to the base. The current is applied to that part which is at single F. In common base, normally we apply current to the emitter this is the flow in which base is base is common but with emitter is common we apply the one current to the base and the other to the emitter to the both so in common emitter the input voltage is applied to the base in common emitter Amplifier the input voltage is applied to emitter base correct. So we give the current to the B and electrons will be divided. So this is the output. The next is just a piece of cake like alpha and beta vector. In common emitter amplifier 10 by I is equal to 9 by N. Band then the current gain is the current gain is again beta factor and in pn transistor the correct to current is 10 per 90 percent current emitter reach the correct emitter will be 11 milli ampere two inputs of nand gate are shorted this yes. is equivalent to xr gate not gate explanation of inversing x or x power cell will go R gate the Tarage, R gate, N gate, another is N gate, the other is NAR gate, the other is NAND gate. R mean this give the input, add it. N gate adds, multiply it. N, oh, N mean it, inverse it. If it is 1, then it will make it 0, or if it is 0, then it will make it 1. NAR gate, NAR gate is the sum of R gate and NOT gate. Where is NOT gate? This is NOT gate. NOT gate reverse the. The one with the This is R gate. The one is R gate. Yeah. NOT gate. NOT gate. N gate. So the other is NOT and R. So from NOT we will write N and the rest is R. So NAR mean NOT and R. The next is not in end gate. This is called end gate. So what do R do? It adds it. Da ya da. Da and da. So we add it. R means we add it. If the input is par R gate. If the input is 1 plus 0. The result will be 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. If the result is 0, 0. Then 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. If it is 1, 0, 1. So 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. If this is 1 plus 1, it is equal to 2, but the maximum value is n, so we will write it at 1. This was R gate. Now, for n gate, if this is 0 into 0, so 0 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0, the result will be 0. 1 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0, 0 multiplied by 1 is equal to 0, 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1. It just multiply the inputs. And next is NOT gate. If we give it 0, it will give us 1, and if it, we, we give it 1, so it will give us 0. zero. Now, what NAR do? NAR do is the R gate plus NAR. So, if this is the R group, if we give 0, 0, the R group will give us 0 because it added 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. And when, then N will come into an action. The R added, but N will reverse it. So, it will make 1, 0, it will convert 0 into 1. If the input at 1 0 the R gate will result give us 1 plus 0 is equal to 1 but n will reverse it it will make it 0 from 1 now if it is 0 1 so the result is due to R gate is 1 but due to n it will become as 0 now due to if the result is 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 it is 1 maximum value is 1 so due to n it will become as 0 the NAR gate gives us the result of R but in reverse order. If it is 0, it will write as 1. If it is 1, it will show us 0. And what N do? N do will just give us the result but in reverse R 
alternate so this is the result of end gate so what will end gate do if this is the input of end gate that it will give us one in state of zero one in state of zero one in state of zero and zero in state of one so this is simply few gates